Welcome to the Art of Connection, Muslim Matters Edition. I'm your host, Bilal Khan, and this piece is about persistence. Many times I feel like a lot of our generation tends to give up, right? They f have one bad experience or even two bad experiences. And as a result, that's the idea that they form around uh, the very pursuit that they have. Now, at the same time, I feel like our generation also takes a lot of things for granted. Um, the communities that we have, especially as an American Muslim uh, community or Muslim American, however you want to view that, um, you know, in a lot of places, the institutions that we have, um, however dysfunctional or functional that they may be, a lot, we didn't build it. You know, it was handed down to us, and therefore we take a lot of that for granted. Um, and uh, and many times when we try to approach these uh, these um, institutions, and we want to be able to add our own value, and maybe we get rejected. Uh, we forget that sometimes to be able to communicate value, persistence is required. Um, and sometimes, you know, you have to knock on 50 doors before one of them open up. And sometimes you might even just have to make your own path and not even ask for permission. But the thing is, a lot of us, I feel like, are not doing that. You know, in martial arts, we have a technique that uh, I call, I like to call it the pump. If somebody has got you in sort of some sort of hold, or maybe they got you in the guard, um, for you MMA folks, you know what that is. Uh, but essentially, uh, sometimes when, if you're on the ground and you're fighting and you're wrestling and grappling, the person that's on the ground uh, will basically wrap their uh, legs around your waist and kind of hold you there. And that would kind of control you as a means of preventing you from maintaining the upper hand. So there's a move called the can opener, essentially, where you basically get your knee um, in between uh, the basically push your knee through. But as a means of breaking that hold on the legs, because legs are very powerful, you know, compared to, compared to the strength that arms have, you know, uh, legs are at least four times stronger. But you can beat out the legs by pumping them. So you get somebody's knee and you just keep pushing, pushing, pump, and pump, and pump, and pump until finally the muscles fatigue and the joints just kind of loosen up. And then you're able to kind of get out and, uh, and basically uh, pull out of that guard position and continue on with the uh, wrestling and try to get the upper hand and get the other person to submit. But that idea of needing to pump that idea of having to push and keep pushing, keep pushing until the other person fatigues out. It's like a jackhammer, right? If you keep pushing, if you keep vibrating the, uh, the surface that you're going against, eventually that surface is going to give. The things that you're pursuing, how badly do you want it? And how persistent are you willing to be to get it? Because a lot of times when we need to share value, People may not see the value right away, but the key thing is to keep being persistent, keep, uh, keep going back. And if an institution shuts you out, that's okay. There's many more to go. You don't need people's permission to do what you need to do to be able to give value to so many other people. At the end of the day, you need a solid heart and you need fire in your eyes. You need to go and work towards achieving that very dream that you have. Our parents and the generation of our parents built institutions. The question is, what are we going to do? And where are we going to take the community and society that we live in today? May you be blessed with peace, safety, security, and freedom now and in the days to come. I'll see you soon.